welcome folks to yet another episode of the rumble today my guest is meera prem she's a representative of uh, of a canadian i wouldn't say a canadian college the canadian government almost where they encourage uh, students from different parts of the world and she handles the students who proceed from india for higher education so we'll just ask her to do it in her own words so welcome to the show meera thank you madam and uh, yes you might as well just start straight away into it what exactly are you uh, involved in i um, i deal with overseas education primarily sending students to canada to study okay and um, um i also um, counsel them on what courses they should take and uh, what are the career opportunities at the end of the program for them so did you study abroad <coughs> yourself no i didn't but then uh, uh i have been doing this for almost 10 years now so it's also been a learning process now you know okay so in in your college days uh, where did you go to was it a chennai college i went to chennai i mean i went to college in chennai okay. i studied at anna adarsh all right and, and um, college and that is college oh they have a college by that name yeah oh, i, I was that. actually i was a president of the college so they called wow. me a uh, school pupil leader every time i arrived you know to okay. any of these places all right all right my schooling was in bangalore but mm-hmm. i uh, i was a boarder I studied at Bishop Cottons. Okay, okay. And I then moved into Chennai when my parents moved back. So when this opportunity arose to represent uh, Canadian uh, the educational institutions there. Right. How did it happen? Was it your uh, government as your representative or you was just a private initiative? No, initially I was basically into um uh, I, I was also uh, uh, into computer training and other things. So uh, here. Here. Yeah, we were running I was franchisee for a, a training a school here. Okay. And then when um, while there, I mean every day would be meeting students, you know. Mm. And my husband is also getting into something related to foreign education and students going abroad. Okay. And that's when this, this Canada was not actually very uh, popular or no, not many of them were even looking at Canada to go and study. I thought I'll So when did Canada start getting popular? But 5 years ago. Oh, that's all. That's it. Before that was just an unknown. Did, no, not at all, you know. And Any, anytime I suggested Canada to anybody, they would be like, uh, "No, I think there's a lot of ice there." You know, always. Uh, oh, it was the weather that put them off. Yeah, a lot of them. It's the weather. I'm impressed. That means the guys are flipping open some book or an atlas and looking to see where the country no, is. No, because my first uh, uh, issue or that I had to tackle was the weather. And then today, you know, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter at all because they they Google and so much of information available. They know it's that's a country true. that's. that one can go and live it's a lot I mean but I the, wonder how people from Madras can actually relate to cold weather the coldest many years ago there was a television show and i remember i can't remember who the uh, anchor was she asked a question to the audience which is the coldest place on earth so everybody you know how those audiences are they would put their hands up yeah me 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 so finally she picked somebody and says okay you give us the answer and he said kode kanu <laughs> so that was the extent of Seriously cold weather as far as we were concerned. Correct, Kanal. I think is is normal weather for Canadians. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but the I mean, summers are like. Yeah, but mm. for people like that, how would they? How do they put up with? Uh, See, the infrastructure is very good. The colleges are well equipped with. The, what you, I mean, every every place has uh, yeah, enough heaters course, and heat warmers and, and other that. things. It's only when you step out, you know, during the winters that you actually feel the weather. And a uh, lot of them have uh, layered clothing, and they they actually uh, they actually find it very. Um, Uh, stylish to dress up like that true, you know true true the multi layer look yeah, you know yeah that's true and that's that. true and is it a very expensive process studying abroad no i mean studying abroad is but not studying at canada uh, okay yeah, because the uh, the government actually funds all, all their universities so it's a lot of government funding that comes to these universities so the cost that an international student actually pays is probably half what a student would pay when he goes to the us to study or so how does it compare with a canadian student Other the Canadians pay nothing almost because oh, it's free for them it's almost, almost free they they probably if an indian student pays about 10000 dollars they would pay about 1500 to 2000 which would be books and periodicals and probably just okay so they pay. have a good deal as far as they are concerned uh, in the fact Canadians. that's the government trying to encourage them to study and um, okay. uh, there the lot of people uh, who actually go to canada because of the fee structure right when you compare it to the rest of the world So how does it compare with India? Let's let's just do an Indian Canadian uh, comparison see, for let's uh, say an engineering course. See, an engineering course in India would probably uh, uh, I think uh, about uh, with with all their uh, would be about a lakh and plus a year. Okay. Right. So uh, that's just the tuition fee. The tuition fees, you know, and the then lot, yeah, the hostel, and the hostel, hostel moment, yeah. That will be so extra. say you set us at about two lakhs a year, so roughly about four lakhs or five, or about six almost, you know, because by the time they finish the course. 
Right, you mean six lakhs, you can do an engineering degree in India? I uh, I think so. I'm not too sure about that, but because I've I actually think you're not way off the mark. I, I, I keep know, hearing the, crores and lakhs and uh, no, no, I don't think so because I think it's only the the I mean it's highly specialized courses maybe. Depends on the universities again. Depends on the college uh, affiliations, who, right? But act, as such, the tuition fees I don't think is uh, very expensive when it comes to engineering courses. Okay, that's just for a year you mentioned. Yeah. Just so then you multiply it by three or no, four years. No, but about two and a half lakhs, three lakhs a year. That's about it. I mean, two lakhs I think would be for a year that they study because uh, I have been checking out and uh, okay. I think uh, <coughs> uh, about two two and a half lakhs would be what they would shell out a year. Okay. So it looks like the bulk of the money that the parents spend it would be uh, on the beer they drink and uh, other wasting ways of spending money because maybe, maybe. parents know they, they don't talk anything like two and a half lakhs a year. They uh, almost bankrupt by yeah, the time the kids Because it's just done. the tuition fees I'm talking about. The living cost is there, you know. Okay. So that so that for their, that, um, that'll be really what will slaughter the parents. The lifestyle of the yeah, kids. Yeah, absolutely. It's not the right. tuition. It's not the tuition. All right, folks. So we just heard a little introduction into the whole Canadian thing. When you come back, we find out what does it take to get into that country.